Meet Nick and Anna. They have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand complete control of your wedding day to one of your mothers. Wow. Uh, I plan to be the boss. I am not going to lose. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? Enough. You are so stubborn. I can't take this anymore. The war is on. May the best mom win. Nick and Anna are all aglow with beauty and love. My spicy taquito. What I love about Anna is starting with those gorgeous eyes, to those lips, right down to the lakes, and her personality and tops everything off. You can't get a better package. That's hot. Give me a spin. Yeah. I like that one. I like it. That's cute. Yeah. Give me something else. Let's see what this is. Let's turn yeah. around. Give me a little spin. Ah. No. It's not I bad. Know. I think the other one's. Yeah? Oh, yeah, go put okay. the other one on. Wow. Oh, so, that looks nice. I like that, that one. The one, that's, yeah. I like this that's one. That's hot. Yeah. It looks sexy. What do you think about this one? This that's is the, the one. one. Do we look good together yeah. with this? All right. Okay. Let's go party. Yeah. Woo. What I like about Nick is, I mean, head to toe, she looks good. We're here to pump it up. <laughs> As a hobby, I like to work out with him. OK. Grab it. Chest up. And just. Try and build some muscle. <laughs> Elbows back, right down. Reach high. There you go. She's very into it, so she's motivated. Fourteen. Five more. Now what? You're going to do about 200 pounds. That's lightweight. I'm intensive with the training. I mean, look at his arms. His arms are just as big as his heart. They grew, as you can see. Oh, yeah. Me and Anna met about two years ago at a club. And I seen that beautiful face, and I had to go up and shoot her a line. <laughs> Are you going to do some free weights, too? You look like a pretty good free weight. Get over what? <laughs> when we first saw each other, we just looked at each other, and it was like a connection that we had, just like, you know, looking at each other. I know what she's talking about. <laughs> yeah, like, it's hard to explain, but we moved in together really quick. <laughs> We've spent probably one night apart since we met. <laughs> so we actually planned on getting married, but then I got pregnant. Yeah. So then we thought, OK, let's buy a house first yeah. instead of getting married. Surprise! Walking down the aisle would have to wait. Nick Jr., named after me, obviously. And he's uh, the best thing in our life. I love my time with him. He's so cute. <laughs> hey, you. Being a first-time mom at first was kind of hard, but now it's just like, it's amazing. Do you like that? Open up, up, up. No more waiting. It's time to tie the knot. This couple of hotties need a hand to get down the aisle. Anna and Nick are getting married, and I'm about to plan their wedding day. But are they ready for what I'm going to tell them? I'm here to make your wedding day happen. Now, there is one condition. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's that? <laughs> you have to hand complete control of your wedding day. The location, the dress, the theme, the menu, to one of your mothers. <laughs> oh, which mother? Uh, You'll oh. decide. Everything. Everything. Decor, oh music. Music? No, that's my like big <laughs> thing is the music. <laughs> so, Anna and Nick, are you prepared to do this? Do we have a choice? <laughs> I could leave. We want to get married okay, okay. really bad. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep you here. Yeah. We're up for it. I guess we're up for, we're up for it. it. Yep. Let's go get you married. I don't know how they're going to choose which mom. Ah! I'm going to go crazy. Them doing it, I don't know. It's going to be something else. <laughs> <laughs> and add the moms. Hmm. Mom <laughs> Anna is a single spicy salsa queen whose youth has not yet passed her by. I am a Latin girl, and I like parties. I like to wear a sexy, and I like to have fun. She's also the kind of youthful mother, like modern, likes to dress well. Actually, she steals my, my clothing sometimes. This top is sexy. I think it's mine, no? <laughs> she still parties, even though like, she's a bit older. Actually, we go together for parties. After dinner, we can go dance, yeah? That's a good idea. Anna's mom likes to hit the clubs and drink her cerveza. And if her mother got control oh of this wedding, it could be a riot she thing. She could have monkeys know? in each corner. Yeah. She probably would. You know? <laughs> Something different. Live animal sure. entertainment. <laughs> Nick's mom, Catherine, is a homemaker who believes in more traditional mothering roles. I'm conservative, but I can be tough. 
Six. Set to her ways. She's set in her own ways. I like to stick to traditions, not having things get too wild, too out of hand. The thing that would scare me the most about Catherine's idea would be nobody having a good time, everybody being bored, yawning. I know, there's <laughs> Bibles in every table. <laughs> the music's like so quiet, you can't even hear it. Too quiet, yeah. Yeah, you can hear the birds chirping. <laughs> the moms are well aware of their differences. We are very different. She's uh, very traditional. Anna probably thinks I'm boring. Mm -hmm. She's wilder, flirtatious, loud. I am fire. I like to have fun. I can appreciate a glass of wine or two over the evening, but I think Anna's idea of a good time might be maybe a bottle or two, at least. She's like a plain Canadian sandwich, and I am a <laughs> chicken quesadilla. <laughs> Everyone has their own ideas for a picture-perfect day for the picture-perfect couple. We are young, so I guess not too conservative, not too flashy, but maybe, you know, still in between. We want to have a big party. But we love to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> I have a vision of a, a 1940s uh, wedding with classical music. Very traditional classic. No way. <laughs> Wine, music, merengue, salsa, like a party. A lot of tequila, margaritas, and uh, piñas coladas. <laughs> a little more on the wild side than what I have in mind. A party should be full of uh, drinks, uh, exotic drinks. Cake. Strawberry shortcake. That's my favorite. I had it for my birthday. The cake should be with uh, colors, with passion, red, something different. A long, flowing white gown. I don't like to hide my woman too much, so... Uh... Maybe we'll bring a pair of scissors. <laughs> the dress should be strapless, showing part of her breast, uh, something sexy. Short. Bright dress, yeah, short. Leg showing, yeah. skin. You can wear a disco dress any day of the week, but a long, beautiful wedding gown, how many times do you get to do that in your life? Come on. Game on. Gina's got her work cut out for her. We really have no balance here whatsoever. It's time for Gina to explain what really is fair in love and war. Over the next two days, I want each mom to plan the ideal wedding for the bride and groom. Only one mom's vision will be chosen. And the losing mom has to assist the winning mom with planning and organizing the entire wedding day. Assisting. <laughs> Assist. No way. No way. I'm going to be the boss. <laughs> I can't be an assistant. <laughs> Never. They're going to choose me. I am not going to lose. Oh. One winner, one assistant. Well, may the best mom win. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever they decide on, Anna and Nick are going to have to live with this vision for the rest of their lives. We're your judges. Who has the better idea? <sighs> You're going down, girl. I feel like there's potential for this family to sort of blow up on each other. It's my daughter's wedding. I plan to be the boss. I am not going to lose. Anna will put up a pretty good fight, but I can be pretty stubborn as well. Catherine, I'm going to win because who doesn't want a party? Anna, you're going down. Gina has spoken. The moms have only two days to get items to help explain their visions of the big day. <laughs> That's sexy. Ah, uh, yes, long stem red roses. Gina will then create a professional wedding presentation with the items of inspiration the moms bring. Perfect, that's exactly what I'm looking for. If my mom has her way, my biggest worry would be that. Nobody having a good time, everybody being bored, yawning, everything really conservative. This will show my vision beautifully. Thanks so much. Anna's mom would like something very vibrant, jump out at you. It's hot. The thing that would scare the most would be her taking it too far. Wow. Oh, my daughter will look so beautiful in this. Sexy, shiny, short. And people just thinking this is crazy. It's like a zoo in here. This is not a wedding. <laughs> it's a nightclub. Sexy, very sexy. The moms have had two days to put their presentations together, and I'm excited to see what they have. Show me your stuff. 1940s classic, elegant theme, sexy Latin. Body. The traditional pearls, white long gloves, very 40s, full of colors, everything shiny, bright, <laughs> long stem roses, beautiful, simple wedding. Do you like it? Uh, a, a cake top? Yes. I choose this one special. Of a bride holding the groom's head? Yes, the woman should be the boss. <laughs> Nick? Nicholas. In a top hat. Yeah, and bow tie. He's going to love it. This. Short, tight, isn't it beautiful? 
You don't think Anna would mind wearing something so short? Anna, or see will, Anna will love it. And Nick, too. <laughs> OK. 1940s era shoe. For Anna? Yeah. Shoes should be sexy, too. Something higher. High. Exactly. Some beautiful classical music, of course. Salsa, merengue, cha-cha. Sexy Latin party. It's not a birthday party. It's a wedding. Piñata. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> sure is shiny. You have a very formal concept. They may think that formal equals boring. Both of them will love it. You gave me a lot to work with. Oh, yes. We're going to edit some stuff down. We'll present it to the couple in the best way. Good luck, Anna. I'm going to win. Catherine, my idea is much better than yours. It's hot. Anna, when I see my vision, there's just no doubt in my mind they're going to be blown away. Is the 40s too boring? Is the salsa too hot? Both visions need a lot of refining. I have my work cut out for me. Gina's holding the reins. It's her turn to present the couple with the mom's big plans. Nick and Anna have no idea their moms are hiding out, listening in and watching everything. <laughs> Anna and Nick, behind these screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. So are you ready to see what your wedding day could be? Yeah. We're ready. <laughs> Let's look at the first presentation. <laughs> That's so neat. So the theme for this wedding is a sexy Latin hot party. Yeah, I like that. That's oh neat. God, that is cool. We have chili pepper pinatas, lots of color, festive margaritas. Tequila? Oh, you can go for that. That makes everything Shots. pretty. Oh, yes. <laughs> Whoa. Look at the cake. <laughs> chili pepper wedding cake with our beheaded groom. <laughs> Salsa music, spicy food. Yeah, that's good, She loves I guess. the spicy, not me. A short, fun, flirty wedding dress. That's like the smallest wedding Long dress I've jury. ever seen. We thought you'd like that. For a wedding? Yes. Disco or weddings? Is the bum exposed on that one? Not yet. Not but... yet. No. <laughs> Neck dress. Yeah. He likes the dress. <sighs> so are you ready for the next presentation? Yes. Yeah. We'll move the next screen. Whoa. This vision is 40s Hollywood glam. This oh, is classy. Oh, that's nice. This is very classy. Yeah, that's Look, cool. the gloves. You wanted gloves, yeah. remember? Very classic. A formal church ceremony with classical mm. music? Oh, no. no. Oh, come on, be open-minded. Anna, you'd be in a formal wedding gown? I'd have to okay. cut it. Scissors, for sure, if I can't find them. All tequila and some teeth. <gasps> yeah, sexy. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Nick, tails. Top hat? Mm, no, I'm not a duck. <laughs> <laughs> the color is the white, black, and the red. It looks really nice. Yeah. Sounds like you have a lot to oh, discuss. Yeah. And when I come back, you can give me your decision. Thanks. Nick and Anna need to weigh both presentations and pick the one that suits them best. Backstage, the moms can no longer listen in. That's it? And have to wait to hear the final decision. <sighs> oh, decision time. I don't know. The party. Classy. It's They're hard. both us. Like things from here and like things from there, so it's hard. Yeah. <sighs> oh, when do we find out? The biggest worry is one of them being really upset. And uh, I hope we don't hurt their feelings yeah, or anything. But... At the end, it's our wedding, right? So yeah. we got to choose what we like. I like the nice candles. Say. The church, though, I don't know. No, not we the don't church. Want a church. What about that ducktail thing? No. No. Or Good. the hat. Oh, no. No. Yeah, what about really this one? Nice. I love the I like drinks. The margarita. Yeah, it's different because it's like How a party, the, you know? Like, who music? gets married like this? Yeah, I like that. I really like the cake topper. That's how it's going to be. I hope you know oh. that. Yeah? We're going to flip no. a quarter. No, I don't, I don't care know. what you say. This is going to be a battle. I choose, and that's okay. the end of it. Then we'll do paper, rock, scissors. No. You can be a gentleman, and you can do what the woman wants, right? Oh. So be the man. I am the man, <laughs> without the spicy food. Quite a bit of disagreeing. Yeah. That's not the way it's going to be. OK, guys, time's up. I need your decision. And we're still debating. Do we have to choose right now? We've decided to, to go, go with. Don't tell me. Yeah. Tell your mothers. Oh, no. Oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Anna and Nick, what you don't know is that your moms have been listening to all of your comments. Uh-oh. They've heard everything. Everything? Uh-oh. 
Um, yes. I'm going to leave you alone to tell your moms who you've decided on. Okay. okay. Oh my God. We have to tell them face to face. I felt bad at the same time because I know they worked really hard. We've come debating quite a bit. We like both. It's been hard for us. We've decided to go with... Mm. Mama yeah. Catherine. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 oh, yes, 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 Are you crazy? My was so beautiful. We liked Special, a lot of it. Special, different. It was, it was like hard. It. it was really, really hard. I am upset and disappointed. I never expect something like this from my daughter. Why do you do this to me? I'm just scared that I hurt my mom's feelings. Anna's mom was pretty upset. Congratulations, Catherine. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm thrilled. <laughs> Anna, you're to be Catherine's assistant. So I can see quite a bit of disagreeing between the two moms and yeah. with her being the assistant. I'm sure she's going to be a bit bossy. I hope there's no problems with Anna being an assistant. And you're going to be a good one, I could tell. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> sure. I don't think sure. so. I'm so, so upset. And they've made the right choice. I'm prepared to stick to my guns when it comes to my vision. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. No. I feel disappointed. I feel upset. I wanted something different, more exciting, more uh, happy. We're going to have a beautiful wedding. We have a lot to plan. We have a lot to do. Let the in-law wedding wars begin. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is my stuff. Sorry, but we're going to fight. Easy, Tiger. There's less than one week for Catherine to plan the perfect wedding. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding dress. Anna has given full control to her mother-in-law. Whatever decision Catherine makes, Anna is going to have to live with that for the rest of her life. Oh, these are beautiful, Anna. Gorgeous. Ooh. <gasps> it's too traditional. We need to hang on to tradition. That's for ridiculous. What she wants Look for her at vision. this. It's too long. I don't like it. Your daughter loves the long dress. I don't think I so. I think, yeah. You're off the mark on this one. No. Yes. It's my daughter's wedding. Mm. There we go. Sorry, it's not my style. It's not my it's taste. It's not your wedding. I think you don't totally know your daughter well enough. You want it chopped off, it won't even look like a wedding yeah. dress. It's not sexy. Why does it have to be sexy? Because it's a, she's a woman. Look at all the dresses. Come Women on. feel beautiful in these gowns. No. Mm. Catherine, look at this one. This dress is perfect. Hot wedding, Latin style. Not my style. Isn't it Our about style. showing your love more than showing your legs? Well, let's look at a few more and we can get Anna to try some on. And... Catherine sends Anna into the dressing room, blindfolded, with her selection of gowns. You look gorgeous. That's so beautiful. Can you turn around so I can see the back? Mom, what does it look like? To be honest with you, I really don't like it. Not really what I want for you. It feels like it, it's nice. I'm just wondering how it looks. Are you serious? I'm trying on my wedding dress with a blindfold. It looks nice on you, but uh, it's not the one I want for you. So I don't think right Catherine is <laughs> right when she chooses this dress. Well, I love it, Anna. You look gorgeous. But try on another one. <gasps> oh, Anna. I don't think it could be any better than the last one. This is amazing. It's too long. Catherine's going too far. I don't want to see my daughter in this kind of dress. It looks amazing. Really? Yeah. Just beautiful. It's just like a marshmallow yeah. kind of. Like... No, no. Yes, marshmallow. Do I look fat? But no. I don't know. These things here feel kind of funny, like huge pimples on a dress. If you could see it, it looks beautiful. She oh. looks too fat. What? What? I look fat? Yeah. Oh, my God, you didn't. Maybe I should try something else on. Wow. Look at her. Oh, my She's so beautiful. Uh, you got to be kidding. What a joke. The dress That's I was not a wedding for. gown. This is my dream. Your dream. It doesn't look like a wedding dress. Uh, it's not a gown. I really like how I feel in it. It's a bow on a disco dress. I love it. You look so beautiful. Pretty. Sexy. Can't you be sexy tastefully? <laughs> She wants the long gown. No, yeah, I don't think yeah. so. I will not back down, Anna. Go yeah. change. I can't bear to look at it. Just please. I, I mean, really like this dress. Enough, <laughs> Anna. She's wearing a long gown. End of story. We just started planning the wedding, and the moms are already fighting. 
They're both pretty stubborn. This is really scary. I don't even know what I signed up for. My daughter is going to dress in the way I want. I hope Anna's mom can get on board and enjoy the wedding for what it should be, because I'm not going to back down. No. I don't care about what she think. Catherine won't let up. She drags Anna to sample the sweet sounds of strings. Oh, I just fell asleep there. I didn't, I didn't like it, because it's, uh, you know, it's not my style. Beautiful. There is nothing more beautiful. We have another auditionist, a violinist, to listen to. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This music is like a funeral. So sad, so depressing. Come on. Oh, that was beautiful. That was just beautiful. So boring. Oh my God. It's not my style. This is so amazing. I don't like it. It's really unfortunate that she can't see the beauty in classical music. There's like eight violinists. We have an oboe player, a flutist, a harpist right. to look at. We have about 10 more instruments. It's going to be stunning. I, I, I can't do, do I, I can't do this anymore. Anna, Enjoy your I want style. you to be part of this. No, okay. don't do this. Where are you going? I need fresh air, OK? And Nick and Anna are going to hate this music. I'm very upset, disappointed. I don't want to support her. Oh, unbelievable. I don't want Anna to ruin the wedding. If everything's not her cup of tea, we can't help Anna if she won't change her attitude. She has to realize I'm the boss. Catherine may be boss, but she can't control everything. She finally gets a call back from her family church. Really, that date's not available? That's the day of the wedding. Are you sure there isn't something you can do for us? Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Catherine doesn't have a moment to deal with the loss of her church. Running out of time, she's convinced Anna to keep their appointment to sample cakes. Oh, Anna, you're going to love this. Wasn't that exquisite? Not with really. Not oh. really. Too sweet for me. Do we have something spicy there? Give it a go. Just to make you happy. Oh, no. No. OK, no. not going to give up here. Cakes. Oh, thank you. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm, Just why? try it. You're going to love it. Mmm. Oh. Mm. That is heavenly. No. Oh. It's not my, my taste. I don't like it. No? Try this one. Mmm. Enough. It's just awful. It tastes like a crap. Nobody in my family is going to like this kind of stuff. I don't like it at all. I don't know what to tell you, Anna. They chose sweet. my vision. Sad. Keep trying, because we have to make a decision on one of these cakes today. Even though I don't like it? You haven't even tried them all. No, I got enough. If you're not going to help me, I will make a decision on a cake alone. I'm not going to allow you to do that. You are so stubborn. I'm but, stubborn. But, uh, you know, I don't You don't even up. want to try the cake, and I'm stubborn. I, I'm going to leave, because I can't take this anymore. I have your cooperation again as you leave. I'm sorry. Again. Katarina, I'm sorry. I'm going to leave, OK? Bye. We were spending more time arguing instead of making decisions. This is really important, and I think Gina will be able to help us. Otherwise, this wedding is going downhill. Right now, the wedding is not going to happen. Things are not good. Both moms are decidedly unhappy. Let's see if I can make some peace. I know that you've been unhappy. Mm. I am here to try and fix things. So, the church. I know. The church mm. is occupied that day. The church would have been ideal. It's heartbreaking. They won't be able to get married in a church. The good thing is, the minister that you wanted to use, Minister Jim, is available. Oh, great. He could come to the venue. We would set it up to look exactly like a church, as much as we could. The chairs, the front, that would look a lot like an altar. That's the next best thing. I do appreciate it. I know that Anna wasn't too thrilled with a few of the details. Oh. She doesn't want to agree to anything. Obviously, she lost, and your visions are very different. I was wondering if you would let Anna have her own cake as well. 
You wouldn't have to give up your cake. Mm. I think with Anna, bringing in a little bit of her spiciness is going to go a long way. And with that, you will have a great assistant. <sighs> it's come to that. Sure, I guess if she has to be that adamant about it. Okay. And now there was one more thing. <sighs> Would it be okay if we had a little bit of that salsa music? Sure, somewhat. Yeah, not at the beginning. All right, that's great. Let's bring Anna in. Hi, Gina. Come on in, sit down. Thank you. So, what's going on? Has been crazy. I don't know what's gonna happen. I was speaking with Catherine, and we're going to try and fix this. We would like to give you your own wedding cake at the kids' wedding. Oh, really? That sounds good. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Catherine would like to give you some salsa music in the reception as well. I'm what? happy. <laughs> You'll have to thank, thank Catherine for that one. Thank you, Catherine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you'll have the music you want. Mm -hmm. You'll have a cake that you want. Sounds good. OK. All right, let's all get on board. Thank you. Okay, we can do I this. I'm ready to plan this wedding. I was a little taken back at first that I had to make compromises. I thought I'd won my vision. So hopefully that's it. I'm always the planner. I usually feel like the shrink, but I think today I was more of the diplomat, and it seemed to work onward and upward. Anna's finally in charge and drags Catherine to learn a little salsa for spicing up the reception. You want to like it? Oh, you know? I don't like surprises. Be positive. So the salsa rhythm is quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Ready? One, two, three, five, six, seven, one. Loosen the hips. Five. Back with the right. Six, seven. So it's one, two, three, five, six, seven. Basic. Hips. Loosen the hips. We'll try it again. Ready? Catherine, more hips. Anna looks hot. I love what she's doing with her hips. I feel the music in my body. I really like it. Catherine, come on. It just seems very silly to me. It wasn't my vision. Not at all. It'd be embarrassing. Yeah. I just need a break. Come on, Katarina. I need a break. Oh, come on. I really have fun today with Katarina. I am glad that she was willing to try this salsa. I want to check in with Anna and Nick. With all that's going on, I hope that they're not getting cold feet. How are you feeling? Mixed emotions. <laughs> mm -hmm. The closer it gets, the more pressure's on. I'm scared about the mothers. They've been arguing, fighting. The war is on. There was a lot of arguing going on when I tried on the dress, so that kind of has me scared of how things are going to end up, uh, especially because I didn't get to see the dress. They have very different tastes. It's my wedding. <laughs> Well, I've been with your moms, and uh, things are progressing nicely, actually. <laughs> I was expecting different, but yeah. anything else you're nervous about? Just a little skeptical about this uh, tail and hat. Do I really have to wear that silly hat and silly long tail? Well, when you pick mom's vision, you get the whole vision. I'm mm -hmm. going to help with the dress. OK. Don't worry about the attire. Just plan That's on coming good. and having a good time. I am here if you need me. What a relief. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> Catherine shows up at the venue early for a sneak peek before the rehearsal. Do you mind taking this and putting it in the back for me? Thank you. Hey! Oh, I really wanted the service in a church, and that's not happening now. Great place for a reception, but a bar in the church? I know. I know what you're thinking. I just want my vision to come through. It's what the kids want. The good news is Minister Jim is available. He's thrilled he's on well, board. Well, that's great. What else is going on? Well, the church is one issue, but then there's Nicholas. He doesn't want her to wear the long gown, doesn't want to wear the tux. They're fighting over the bow tie. He has to realize that this is your vision. It's not all. I want us to be communicating at this point. I just feel like I'm losing control of my vision. I understand. You have to trust me. This is an amazing space. It's really going to be transformed, and I don't want you to worry about anything. Okay. We're going to make this a church if it kills me. <laughs> and it might, actually. <laughs> to keep the venue a surprise for the couple, the wedding rehearsal will go on without them. We're obviously not in a church. We're in the reception venue. And we are going to make this area 
as much like an altar as possible. So what we're gonna do is line you up. If I could have the ladies in this hall over here, and then I'll get the groomsmen to start with the two moms here. You could wait right there. How are my men? I need you lined up. Anna and Catherine straight back, nice and slow tomorrow. We're gonna do a quick left. Perfect. It's showtime. Ladies, you one at a time. Okay. Remember this tomorrow and we're good to go. <laughs> time to take a breath and toast a job well done. Oh, the wedding is tomorrow and it has been very difficult time for Catherine and I. Oh. We have been fighting a lot. Just don't see eye to eye on anything, but gonna make the best of it. Gonna be a happy day. I'll try not to embarrass myself. Or Anna. <laughs> With all this trauma going on, it's going to be pretty hard. It's like one of the most special days in somebody's life. I mean, it's my big day, and I don't even know what I'm going to wear. But Anna and Nick need to put their fears behind them to entertain their guests. Oh. Hey. Soon to be Mrs. Novia. Huh? Hey. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers to Nick and Anna. Thank you. <laughs> I have a surprise tomorrow. I'm going to surprise everybody. Even Catherine gonna be surprise. Ready or not, the big day is here. With mere hours until the wedding, Catherine goes to Anna's house to drop off the gown. Anna hasn't seen her dress yet. I hope she likes it. I think she will. Here's the dress. I'm trusting you with this. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Anna. Bye. It's finally time for Anna to see her wedding dress. Okay, are you ready to see your dress? Yes, I can't wait. Look at you. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah. Look at it. I actually look like a bride. Yeah. So nice at the back. Catherine has a really good taste. I really like it. Yeah? yeah? You're going to be able to dance with this long dress? You want to look sexy at your wedding? Yeah, I will. You know what I brought for you? Oh, my God. You brought that dress? <laughs> yes. Because I want you to change your mind about the long dress. This is the short one, the oh, sexy no. one that I chose for you. You remember? It's so yeah. hot and so sexy. So I don't know. Try, you're going to like it. I'm sure. If but I show up in this, I don't know. Anna, Anna, just try. I am sure you're going to like it because I know you. I am your mother. I know I like it. It's cute, but Catherine's going to be mad. Don't tell Catherine about that because we're gonna get mad. We're gonna surprise her. I don't know if I could change it last minute, especially. You can change it. It's your wedding, know. no Catherine's wedding. I could dance in it more freely and walk better than in this of other course. one. Of course, that's why. That's I why. Mean, and you wanna look sexy. So know. this is your choice. Up to you. I am sure you're gonna change your mind about this long dress. Think about it. Okay. Okay. It's pretty cute. Oh my God, Catherine's gonna kill me. With time running out, Nick swings by his mom's house to pick up his wedding wear. What do we got here? Your vision. No. You're going to be quite the no. gentleman when you wear this. I told you I wasn't wearing this thing. What era is it? I didn't 40s? think you were serious. Why are you being so difficult about this? A tail? Your tail? Oh my God. And your bow tie, you will look so handsome. What a gentleman. People do not have tails. Nicholas. Animals have tails. Oh. Nicholas, don't be difficult here. Why are you doing this? Fine. Oh, no, that is cool. Yeah, fine. Fine. Fine means? Fine means yes, I'll fine, wear it. Beans. It's my wedding, and fine. You... The bow ties, I don't uh, forget to wear fine. it. Fine. <laughs> Gina and her crew are scrambling to transform the venue into a church. Yeah, these look nice. And we'll put one on each table there. All OK. Right. And then we have the rose balls here. OK, that's perfect. You can put it right up there. I promised her that I was going to make this venue look like a church. It has not happened yet. I'm working on it. Catherine arrives at the venue for a last minute check-in. Hey. So we're obviously not finished, but it's becoming a church. I didn't want you to see it at this point. This is going to be very much like an altar. We're draping some flowers over there. We added the aisle runner for you. We've covered the chairs. Mm -hmm. I like that. You were right. It does look beautiful. I'm so glad you it's like gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. <sighs> Are you OK? Mm -hmm. I wish I were feeling better. Nicholas and I had a big disagreement about his top hat, his tux, the bow tie, the whole works. It didn't end well. Is he wearing the top hat and the tux? I have no idea. 
You can't worry about that. You have to get your hair done. You have to get your makeup done. I just want it to be a good day. <laughs> I know. I know you do. Now go take care of yourself. What's that? The salsa cake. Where's my cake? <laughs> your cake is its coming. It's not it, here it, yet. It's on its way. But... Yeah. All right. So hair, makeup. All okay. Right. I'll All see right. you in a little bit. She had to come. Finally, Catherine's cake arrives. Wow. Do you like it? Oh, that's fantastic. Every tier is edible. Red velvet, chocolate, vanilla. Catherine is going to love it. Thank you Thank so you. much. It's all come together and just in time. Okay, so the strings are here. Beautiful. The minister's here. Your cake is here. Gorgeous. All right, let's go get married. All right, come let's on. do it. The only one who's not here is mother of the bride. Catherine finds her and ushers her in. Anna, you're here. Hey, you. Come on in. It's okay. going. The ceremony begins with Nick in a suit. When I first saw Nicholas without his top hat and bow tie and his tails, I was really disappointed. I really thought he'd come through. At least Catherine got Anna to wear a classic long dress. Or so she hopes. Please stand in honor of the bride. We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. Will you take this man to be your husband? I will. I promise to love you unconditionally and cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> I, Nicholas, take Anna to be my wife. I promise to love you above all others. We have a very special ring bearer with us. Would you bring Nicholas Jr. up, please, to present the rings to mom and dad? Oh! <laughs> oh, Thank you. Mom, Thank you. Look at you. Please repeat after me. I, Anna, give you this ring. I, Anna, give you this ring. Wear it and thinking of me. Wear it and thinking of me. Know that I love you. Know that I love you. I, Nicholas, give you this ring. I, Nicholas, give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a reminder of the promises. As a reminder of the promises. We have spoken today. We have spoken today. As Anna and Nicholas have exchanged rings and shared vows, their union is symbolized by the blending of these two individual jars of sand. You can stand on your own, but when two people are united in marriage, a new, exciting, and a stronger entity is created. Bonded together, forming one heart, one life, and one love, for the two shall become one. And by the authority vested in me, I now declare you to be husband and wife. Yeah. With the ceremony complete, the newlyweds walk the aisle straight into their reception. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming. It's nice to have you guys here with us. Yeah. And I also want to thank my mom and Nick's mom. We love you. We want to say we love you. So much. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Thank you so much for being behind us, and, you know, as friends and family and new family, and thank you very much. We love you. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> the luckiest man in the world. The luckiest woman in the world. <laughs> Me and Anna love each other so much. We're so happy to be married.
perfect wedding and a happy day. It was yeah. amazing. All the roses, the candles, everything. The runners, that the was colors, beautiful. The colors, it was beautiful, everything. Everything was perfect. was perfect. I think Catherine is very happy the way the wedding turned out. She got her 40s vintage theme. We built her a church, as much of a church as we could. It was a beautiful wedding, and it looked stunning. She looked beautiful. I expecting her to appear with this short, sexy dress, but as long as she's happy, I am happy too. Oh, okay. Mm. You, you look so beautiful. And I love my dress. Very beautiful. When she walked in and I seen her, I felt like somebody kicked me in the stomach. I couldn't even speak. When I saw Nicholas, his suit looked so nice. It looked so perfect on him, exactly how I pictured my wedding to be. You, look at me. You look wonderful. Look I at this. I was just hoping you'd wear the bow tie and the tails. I know. Do I look good for you? You look wonderful. The wardrobe was a big problem. I have a build that doesn't suit all types of tuxedos, so at the end of it, I did get a very nice tuxedo. We're all happy, and my mother did approve. Beautiful. Look at this one here. Look at mine. Oh, that, oh that's that beautiful. That is great. Minus yes. the peppers, because Some... they're both beautiful, um... eh? Beautiful cakes. Mm. The two okay. cakes are great. Which is better for us, because we love both ideas. Yeah. Like, we yeah. thought both cakes were a great she idea. She can eat the peppers off mine, I'll eat the cake. <laughs> yeah. Hot, hot, hot like you, Anna. Yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> I love my cake. Look at you, Nick. You don't have a head. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. I'm decapitated. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Look at this one. I'll eat both the cakes. Can I cut? Go ahead. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go here we it. go. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Yay. Yay. Ready? Hey. Oh. Yay. Oh. Spicy. I love how everything turned out. Cotton did a very good job. I'm so happy. Everything is, uh, is uh, special. The bottom line is Anna and Nick had a beautiful wedding. That's what it's all about. My job is done. Yes. Oh, we're so happy to be married. Me yeah. and Anna are happy as ever could be. Yeah. And our son, Nicholas, he was a ring bearer. Oh, so that was amazing. Such a beautiful boy. He's all handsome in his suit. Daddy dressed him. It was a perfect touch. And we're so glad. This is what we needed. Yeah. There's like a boundary between us. Like, why aren't we married? We have a son. We have a house. So now we're complete. Big hugs. One big group hugs, hug. Hugs, hugs. Come here. Yeah, thank you for being with us you know, on a special day like today. Our new families. Well, that's what it's all about. Yes, our new families. New we are family. now one. My new son. No more fighting. No, no more. No more fighting. No more. Get that knife away. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going to be OK. Oh, yeah. yeah. They made up. They're getting along yeah. great now, so the moms are perfect. Oh, we're partners now. No hard Yes. Now. Yeah, we are family now. And I can't wait to dance. Salsa, merengue. So let's party. Let's go. Show me how to party, girl. OK. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs>